Hello, everybody, and welcome, apparently, to the trial version of Madden NFL 25. What are you talking about? I own this video game. I bought this video game. What? 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 Continue trial. What are you talking about? Whatever. Hey, uh, my name's Sean. <laughs> that was a weird uh, weird start. We're jumping back into our franchise today. We are doing our random rosters season, working our way with the Green Bay Packers through their entire regular season with a random... Uh, randomized roster. We finished the preseason one and two. We lost a couple tight games, a couple bad decisions on my part. Um, and we're going to just kind of see what, what we can do. Uh, last night, I guess last night, um, of, as of when this video was recorded, Packers lost to the Eagles and lost their quarterback for uh, approximately a month. But oh, thankfully it's not a season ending injury. <sighs> we have to set our season goal. We got to check some messages, do a media interview, uh, and then we'll jump into today's season game. If you'd like to watch more every Sunday at 12.30 p.m. Pacific time, you can catch that week's matchup, uh, that week's Packers matchup, that is, uh, right here on the channel. So subscribe, ring the bell, you'll be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out. I'm going to do this regardless of if people watch or not, because I like having fun. And this game, I have enough fun with. We go here, bottom corner. And let's set our season goal. Our season goal comes with um, rewards but also higher risk. Okay. Reward eight staff points, chance of firing very low. Okay. Let's see. We... We're going to be playing in Philadelphia, by the way. I think my goal is to make the playoffs. My goal is to make the playoffs. That's what I want to do. That. Make Win the Super Bowl. Not great. Make the playoffs. Uh, seven wins is like kind of... Feels kind of like <laughs> easy town or whatever. Uh, but I think make the playoffs is where we want to go. So commit to our goal to make the playoffs this year. That's what we want to do. So far we have a losing record, not a great start. Uh, so a new message. Hey coach, hope you're ready for the season ahead of us. Let's get out there and show them some great football. Scouting report on the Eagles. We're facing two really great defensive ends this week in Grady Jarrett and Rashawn Gary. Oh, <gasps> no. Rashawn Gary, he's supposed to play for the team that I like. We need Matthew Stafford to get rid of the ball quickly. Okay, I like that. I like that. So then should we maybe work on short passing? Is that what it wants? Oh, it wants intermediate. Wait, hold on. Defend medium pass. Oh, that's the defensive game plan. Defend medium pass. Who is there? Their top threat is Kenny Pickett. Okay, that's fine. Offensive game plan. Throw it short. Okay, I, I, I like that. And then uh, Isaiah Spiller. I think these are okay guys to work with. That's fine. Start training. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just simulate the mini games. I don't know how much of a difference it makes. I maybe should actually do those. Uh, fatigue plus one. Okay. Turf toe. Boyd has turf toe. That's not good. It's not what you want. Fatigue plus one. Offense. Okay. Uh, okay. None. Isaiah Spiller. I think we're going to try to lean on the run game and the quick passes to this week. We have our training done. Uh, new message. Okay. Oh. The athletic trainer told me to ask you what you want me to work on during camp. Should we focus more on injury prevention or improving my stamina? Ooh, I would love conditioning and stamina from you, CD Lamb. I'd love that. Please. Player will focus on me on conditioning with the trainer. Stamina increased by three. Okay, cool. I love it. Thank you for reaching out, CD Lamb. We have three new messages. A hey, coach the regular season. Oh, how do I, like, read these? With Boyd out this week, we have to rely on our depth. No big moves needed. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I thought he was going to be out one week. Oh, I think we're okay. We're okay. All right, let's do a media interview. Everyone loves those. Practice field, training camp. Coach, what's going in, uh, coach, going into the, uh, season, okay, well, uh, shoot. 
You know, I think our defense was the stronger unit of the two, though we let up some points. They got a lot of turnovers. So if it's defense is stronger, what part of your offense worries the most? Uh, with me, it's the passing game. Um, though we had trouble getting uh, Pacheco going. Eh, passing, passing attack. Our pass defense is a huge concern as well. Can you be more specific? Um, the, the quarterback. We need consistent quarterback play. That's not even a lie. Successful CCs and look like statistically. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll go 35 passing touchdowns. I think we're going to end up relying pretty heavily on the run game at times. So 4,000 seems a little high. Right direction. Promise that our QB would throw 35 TD passes this season. That's exactly what we did. We promised them. Okay. Some players we can upgrade. Uh, you know what? Just auto upgrade these guys. Fine. We need... Um, Oh, God, why do I have four new messages? Okay, great. Stop telling me that I have four unread messages when I don't have... I've read them. Okay, we're going to jump into uh, into the game here. We're going to Philadelphia. They don't have the rights to the stadium that they played in. Ooh, DeSante Samuel, Jalen Ramsey. Okay. I know that they said that they were like, oh, we're worried about the, the defensive ends or whatever. Uh, I would be more worried about Jalen Ramsey. Where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Packers and the Eagles. And it kicks off next on Madden NFL 25. Oh, Madden. God, are we going to just get awful thumbnails? Super inconsistent thumbnails for all of this. I hate it. It's the start of a new season in the Tariqo and Olsen. To our first Sunday of 2024 with football. Mike Tirico, my partner this year, Greg Olson. Greg, so excited to be with you and so excited about week one. You build it up, you talk about it for six months, and when it arrives, God man, it's dang it. So good. And it's really oh, it's going to be so inconsistent. The it's the, the start screen teams. is related to the team the that you, Play or the, the commentating this team. This is the best offseason any of them have ever had. And on top yeah. of that, it's the excitement Crap. and the hope in these stadiums. <laughs> okay. Every fan base in the NFL thinks that this is their year, and week one's getting off to a hot start, and I know both you and I are looking forward to being along for the ride. Here now, Young Way Koo to get us started. And off we go from the link. And it'll be brought down. Past Those field conditions in Brazil were heinous. Heinous. So the Philadelphia offense Saquon Barkley scored a touchdown and he went to celebrate and I was worried he was going to rip his ACL in half. Of Pittsburgh, it's Kenny Pickett. There's just something special about week one, isn't it, Mike? I mean, after months of anticipation, anyway. speculation. Uh, finally let's you, see, what do we want? The season has arrived. This is the first time where we're going to get to see... We have had a lot of trouble defending the pass team, in the last couple coaches. of games. Rookies I'd argue that we really struggled in the fourth quarter of the first game. game. The preseason is one thing. That's an entirely different over level. over pursuit on picket there i mean he did a good job to get around and work his way out of the pocket blitz him a little bit second and six everybody's coming up the middle maybe like an edge blitz there. okay got to the quarterback there that's good stuff incompletely might be fortunate just to avoid the sack and it'll set up a third down. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. On third down, they'll set up to throw. Okay. Threw it away. All right. It's a good start defensively. I like that. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him. And he really so their offensive no line, the Eagles' offensive line, doesn't look great early. Live to play another snap. And 
Hey, the first man missed. Okay, so here we go. Matthew Stafford. First game. They're let out, Greg, by the number one overall pick way back in 2009, Matthew Stafford. Wow. All the way back there, huh? I think back to opening Georgia day, Bulldog. Years of playing in the NFL. It didn't matter if I was a rookie or going into my 14th season. I think every player goes into that game with just a little bit of extra nerves, thinking like, new season, new opportunity. Can I still oh, do this boy. at a high level? And, man, you get now there's Rashawn Gary. Like you can finally take a deep breath. And let the season unfold. Let's try a little uh, nerves in this one here today. Try a little slip screen. Down the fastest and just gets back the playing ball. They're gonna have a big advantage coming away with a big win today. Now a second down throw for Stafford. Are they you kidding me? Defense saw the screen from the start. Just drop. Oh my goodness. goodness. The best defenders can just sense when a screen is what coming. happened. The screens are so bad in this game. What is Corum doing? Everything. Oh, he just got he got locked up on one. Oh, that's so irritating. Bounce out. Do something. Why are you staying in the block? All right. Body language of the offensive lineman's pass set. They can tell on the drop of the quarterback. It just doesn't look right. It's exactly the case here. Great job getting to the back and taking him down for a loss. Okay, that's a really frustrating start. Of course, I've picked on their two best defensive players. Oh, God, Pacheco got... I didn't realize Pacheco got injured, so that is... You better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. Uh, but he cannot get away. I, I thought we had uh, C.D. So Lamb. I maybe should have thrown it a little sure. bit sooner. The Eagles of course, I pick on Jalen Ramsey, the and they point the out Rashawn time. Gary, and he makes a tackle on the first play. The, first point the worst the screen pass you could possibly throw. First and ten. Right, let's bring some pressure here. Pistol snap back to Pickett. This throw taken in by Hurst. Okay. It's Patrick in on the tackle. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. There we go. Get forward for a Jackson with a nice Three tackle. Jackson Third down and four here. To make the stop. Here's a we are going to bring a blitz. We have been blitzing on the left side a lot. I think that could be a... Oops. Oh, boy. Cool. I love how I pulled him that far out of the play. Yeah, I didn't love that. Who's your most reliable player and... I think everybody in this booth knows exactly what position that is. So we're getting to the quarterback. We're not able to take him down. We forced a couple of errant throws. We forced the throw away. I think it's good with five wide receivers to not worry about bringing anybody. Just kidding. Didn't matter. <laughs> Didn't matter. There were two defenders in the area. Nobody tried to get there. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. God. We can't possibly let Kenny Pickett look like a good quarterback. On the move at the 14 yard line, it's first and 10. On the head there we go. It's Montgomery. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of one. The speed and the get off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. A second down throw for Pickett. 
That's okay. Hey, let him, let him have a few yards. No big play. There we go. Ooh, I kind of like... Give us a little nickel blitz. Converted twice Who's on going? third down already on this drive. Now can they do it for a third time? Get there. Okay. He's got to run out of time. There we go. Get to him and bring him down. There we go. Finally, I, I believe the In first the sack of the game, game here. Like that, you're looking for I definitely lost track of my guy. So hopefully someone else was there. You can continue to get after the quarterback. Disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback. In the second half. That could be the difference of you being able to pull away. Cam Little for this field goal attempt. This from 34 yards. Little's we ran into the kicker. We ran into the kicker. I ran into the kicker. I fucking hate this game. It is a first and goal. That is unbelievably stupid. I knew not to do it. I hate this fucking game with this shit. I glanced off and ran into him. There, the roughing call on the field goal. They'll take the three points off the board, keep possession of the ball, and have it first down. From the gun, here's Montgomery. Cool. He made me pay immediately. There was no reason for me to do that. There was a dumb play on my part. I thought that I'd gotten around it. I didn't realize to glance off the, the hitbox. And they made me pay fucking immediately. First possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. Ran into the kicker again! Why? Why is it so fucking sensitive? They come away with six, so... That's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into the Fuck all here. the way off of that shit. Seven how are you supposed to block your... Uh, and this one is fielded in the end your zone. blocking is so bad so to come out to the that you can't get around. Backers offense about ready to get going. On their second possession, they were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so... Down seven nothing as they get the ball back for first and ten. I need to be a little more patient on that one. We have negative yards. Here's second and nine. Once again, it's Corum. There we go, Corum. And he's going to be very close to a first down. That's a good run there. Maybe just a couple of feet short. It's I think we just want to keep when you don't going. The first down, but that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations, it'll get you the first down, just not here. Okay. Hey, it's all right. And he's got it. That'll move the chains. First down. Okay. So, unfortunately, uh, Pacheco... Really just the same approach that an who we had trouble getting started getting going in uh, in the preseason injured so that sucks. Just enough space up front. Yeah, see if we can hit lamb on this little exactly what they did pick up first down there we go he was way further upfield than I anticipated I was kind of a blind throw I was looking for some timing I, I thought that he would be further across the field who you put on him Mike when you want to play one-on-one man coverage against a receiver like this there's not a whole lot else you can do it's hard to put help over the top because the ball is being thrown out by the sidelines I like playing in and out I like playing zone somebody underneath somebody over the top yeah. share the responsibility but that's not what they're doing that's straight man coverage quarterback sees the matchup there's no question where the ball is going to go Here's a second and nine. Stafford gonna give it to Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's get Corum going. Pick up of eleven yards on that. So could we look at an injury report? Anywhere? Uh throw the challenge flag. That's not what I want to do at all. Coaching. Medical center. Length two quarters. Okay. Hackers. We'll let it go to quarter number two. 
One quarter in the books. Okay, so we have uh, we have two roughing the kicker penalties. Uh, bullshit. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. A shotgun snap to Stafford. That's into the hands of Cora. Okay, I'll take that. I think that's a good read. Coram broke out to the flat immediately. They, they, yeah, they sent a blitz off the left side. That's fine. Traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection, and maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. The big guys in the middle of the defense, Mike, the defensive tackles. So often they're asked to do the dirty work. Keep the blockers off the linebackers. Let them run around and make all the plays. But in this case, this guy's able to shed his blocker and make the stop. I thought I threw that and mistimed. I didn't think Lane was going to get all the way around because he was going left. And Well, I was wrong there. Nice play by C.D. Lamb. Nice catch. And we have a first and goal. A little unfortunate that it's out at the 10-yard line. This defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone. Hey, that's a great run right there. It's a nice pickup. It's a great it run. To the three. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Goal at the one. And he won't quite get in. Down to the one. Setting up third. End goal. Here's Cora. And he will not get in the defense. Standing their ground, pushing him back, and it sets up fourth and goal. I am so mad at that play. They shot through the gaps there. It's seven to three. Ugh. It should be 3-3. Three, three. to say here, Mike, as this offense leaves the field, they wanted to stay out there and go for it. But I think in this case, the coach is playing the long game. He understands that these three points now can end up being very valuable as this game moves along. They'll return this from the 11. Well, it'd be a lot. Man, I can't believe we got all the way down to the one. The Did we try, the should we have tried to play action the there? Field. The lead sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. On the ground, Montgomery. Why did you not give me the pursuer? A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's a second and six. Now, pick it. That's just too easy. Thank God he stepped out of bounds. It just feels like we have to send pressure. I don't know. We spent so much time talking about these receivers. How fast do they run, Mike? How high do they jump? But so often, the guys that have the most success in the NFL, it's the mental part of the game. It allows them to oh, create okay, that was a run. That was a run. In the defense. Attack defenders. It's exactly what he's able to do here, and really nice connection. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. Mm. Open man there, it is born. Uh, created a mismatch. Before he gets inside the 35-yard line. That's the second time they found him on this drive, and this one's good for 24 yards. Yeah, that, uh... Set to go now Damn. on first and ten. Here's Pickett. You'll find Montgomery out of the backfield. Man, we are just letting them run down the field. How come we can't get any pressure? What is happening? Efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. 
Okay, what the fuck? Oh, we didn't get there. God damn it. We had a goddamn defender right fucking there. And you just let the, let him go. Now pick it. He'll swing this one out wide to his running back. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Oh, they what? Oh, they went five wide. Okay, well. I'm... Throwing on second down. Pick it. And he's into the end zone. Jawan Jennings. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Mike Reestab is saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route. I do not know how to call defense. The of the quarterback. I, 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 we don't have good tacklers on the backside, Literally apparently. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there, balls delivered. Don't get anywhere near the fucking kicker. The weirdest thing is I fucking blocked the kick in the first game that I played against Chicago. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Here comes a return from the five. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Out comes the Green Bay offense now as they get set to take over again. They trail now 14 to 3, so an 11 point deficit as they start things out with first and 10. On the ground, it's Cora. Uh. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two minute warning. Two minutes to go here. Till I didn't realize how we'll long they had taken on that drive. Field. Holy shit. Right after this. They face second down and seven. Out of the gun, Stafford. A quick slack taken oh, by that's what we're... And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. From the shotgun, it's Stafford. Yep. Through the interception, obviously. That's that's fucking ridiculous. Come on. What? CD Lamb's in front of the fucking. I hate this goddamn replay camera. I thought I had him. Lamb's in front. He looks for it, and it's just. This is the most Madden ass fucking interception in the world. This is the what is it, the Dion Branch catch? Oh, that's so fucking irritating. Simple. I'll tell you why. There's a lot of bodies in the middle of the field. There's a lot of traffic. Those windows are hard to navigate the ball through safely. So what happens? Well, you saw it there. It's a prime area for throws cool. to be intercepted. I, I love when I can't After get. The catch, he gets that forward for a we are letting Kenny run. pick it. How do I not understand how to call a fucking defense to actually bother to stop them? Like, what is happening? They are all they want to do is throw the ball. Here's Pickett now. Great. Yeah, excellent. Of course, he was wide fucking open. And will get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. They'll motion over Sammy. On first and ten, here's pressure gets there. And down Finally. So the Eagles will use their first time out here. What is, what, what is going on? What, <laughs> what happened? He like was sitting in there? What? You can see me hit Y, because I was I thought I was gonna switch the player. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. When they did go five wide on the, on the last touchdown they scored, I thought it was going to be 
Okay, where the fuck has this been? And again he goes down. If there's any silver lining for this drive, Mike, it's the fact that at least this sack occurred on an early down. So I guess technically they have a chance to claw themselves out of this hole, but that's the third sack of the game. And this defense doesn't show any signs of slowing down. On third down, they go with Montgomery. The Packers go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. I should have assumed that they were going to run on third and 26. Eh, I probably should have taken a timeout sooner. It's all good. It's all good. I don't know how worried I am. I mean, maybe we'll hit the punter just for fun. He'll punt for the second time, looking to pin the opponent back deep. That's going to be out of bounds. Well judged and spotted right at the 10 yard line. That was our best defensive stand. We really needed that. I'm not going to be able to probably do a whole lot here. They want us to just run the ball. That's fine. That's fine. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. That's fine. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. Hmm. Okay, so a pretty rough first half. The interception was pretty bad, and the kicking penalty was arguably worse. But we're only down 11. We can we can figure something out here, maybe. Finally got some good defensive situations figured out. And it still qualifies as a Friday, which is kind of interesting. It'll be noon at Soldier Field in Chicago, and a big test for the Bears, as they'll have to do battle with the Tennessee Titans. Then later, they'll let the sun die down a bit in Tampa. A late start here in Florida, where it'll be the Buccaneers taking on the Washington Commanders. And finally, on the season premiere of Monday Night Football, take two for Aaron Rodgers, the Jets and Niners from Santa Clara. We just what team Aaron Rodgers plays for. Quarterback Kenny Pickett. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double digit lead. These two teams leaving the tunnel and we'll head out with them. <laughs> it just Mike looks Rico like. And Greg Olson. Both these teams running through their final adjustments. It's time for the second half. And for the call, let's get it back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Defend the short right, pass. Coach, second half, trying the okay, big drive here. We can make this a one-score game. On this will be taken in at the two. Pretty good. Twenty-nine yard line. He'll get this up just shy of the thirty. The Packers. Quorum's looked pretty good. Four point three yards per carry. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. The motion man is bored. Off play action. It's Stafford. I might be lucky that that was an incomplete pass. You could see the defender on the outside was breaking in toward the ball. I might have thrown another interception. You can take a look at the instant replay here. We're going to look at this left side. Um, this defender, he was going to break in and probably intercept that pass. And he was the answer. But it might he might have only reacted because I threw the ball... Maybe. I don't know. 83 was the answer. I didn't have any time, though, so it, it was a bad play call. Play action off the start. Not great. Pacheco is back in the game. Here's Pacheco. Come around and block. 84. You got to drive him outside. Not what the fuck. God. This hit is the hit detection is so goddamn weird. Come on, 76, 76, thank you. A gain there of 10 yards. Yeah. Good for a Green Bay first down. Well, oh, that's huge. That is so We've big. Third down really turned into a pass happy down throughout the league. And I think this is an example of the play caller kind of using that to his advantage. Keep the defense off guard, keeps the ball on the ground, extend this possession. Stafford now to throw on first down. 
Maybe a little quick on the read there, but I, you can, I feel like if you can hit him on the out, at least you get an opportunity. Oh my god, it oh were the players' pads made out of rubber? I wanted him to bounce it to the left. From the gun, here's Stafford. There we go. Open man is Douglas. It's complete. There we go. First catch for him. That was a good read. I saw the linebacker pop up. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. Here's the way to go. The line of scrimmage, no gain on the play. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. But they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here, keeping it to no gain. Stafford now on second down. As he oh, throws, he is incomplete. Just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there anyways. We do know it'll be third down. Working out of the gun, Stafford. He's got Douglas going deep. And the Eagles are going to take over here on the INT. Fucking game. Fuck when you game. find yourself in this situation, you're on defense. You're defending your own goal line. You gotta take some chances. You gotta try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this that's, defender did. That's takes a that's chance, fucking himself, ridiculous. Away with a pick to save them some points. The Eagles' offense ready for it. We had to come away with something right there. Second half. What in the fuck? He's, it's a late throw. He's so, he's open. I was 15 broke. As, uh, I got to be able to see that. We're getting to a point where it's like, well, maybe I just commentate this. Because clearly I suck at this fucking game. It's, it's a late throw. Right. Got to throw. Hmm. Well, I'm loading the throw. It's not that late. Attack things here, backed up deep in their own end. It's first and ten. He'll Stop leading with your shoulder. Just take what the defense is giving you. When you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath hitch routes quick. Why are they throwing the ball on their own five yard line? Down in distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. There's a short one taken by Ingram. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. Third and a yard. Boy, if he snaps that any faster, huh? He'll look middle and he's got his man complete. 17 yards on that play. Good for an Eagles first down. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one No way! No fucking way! up there first down philadelphia well that's a heck of a one-two punch right there and that's something that every offense stresses the ability to be equally effective run and pass that is such fucking bullshit i don't know how many times i can say that in this fucking video but god damn it they just get locked up on each other what the fuck don't worry about it. Just just take the worst fucking angle in the world. Given snap. They follow up the successful pass play with a big explosive run. 
Pistol snap back to Pickett. To the right side, he's got Ingram, the tight end. impressive there well you said it Mike the catch was nice but it's what can you do after the catch that really separates guys in this league and in this case he did plenty because it ended up in a touchdown it's Kenny fucking Pickett the dude sucks and I'm making him look like a goddamn MVP here's Cam Little for the PAT That one's on me. That one's on me. Just trying to unspin the cord. It's up and through. And the Eagles move out to a 21 to 3 advantage. Seventeen for twenty. We have thrown for sixty-one yards. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Very good kickoff, returnable from the four. And not much doing on this return. Good cover. What? <laughs> well, hold on. Did we, he's like. What? The Packers offense and Matthew Stafford heading back. What happened to our field? defense? And we were picking people off in that first game like you wouldn't believe. These are two ridiculous interceptions. Number of bad throws, and generally the D has just made it tough to operate all game long. From the 35, it's first and ten. That was a handoff. Oh, this offensive line is so bad. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. A throw left side there, not awesome. going to find the target. Incomplete. Tyler Boyd was the intended target for that one, and it'll be third down. Rowing, Stafford. And that is incomplete. <laughs> Pretty unforgettable performance so far in the first half, Mike. And they're going to try to figure this out here in the second half and try to gain some momentum. Figure out what's going to work, where are our matchups, and let's go try to put a drive together and get some points because so far this has been a struggle and they just cannot get anything going through the air. The Eagles offense and Kenny Pickett getting set for their next possession Eddie has been in control of this offense want to run you through some of the action from earlier on We've got the two <laughs> that, that fucking weak ass shoulder tackle he has been excellent all game long they'll come up here first and ten From the gun is Pickett, and he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. On the shotgun, here's Pickett. Under pressure, and down he goes. They got him. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he I'm was I'm just able picking to get plays that say match. Check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. That's caught. Left that didn't matter. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. I know, I know, I'm biased. But listen, 
you can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option on the field, especially when you got a guy like this, that on third down or critical moments, that's where the ball needs to go. The size, the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a critical situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with that. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Pick it to throw on first down. He's got it inside the five. And he's going to be brought down. <laughs> well, certainly aren't wasting any time oh, down oh, oh, oh my fucking God. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, video game. Are you out of your goddamn mind? <laughs> Come on. He's right there. Oh. Uh. To count how many plays they've run, and yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone. Ticket to throw. That's in the end zone and intercepted. Picked off by Mika Fitzpatrick. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Pacheco. And he'll be brought down what will be the final act here in this third quarter. Uh, these, that interception is such fucking garbage. The Ramsey interception's fucking bullshit. After the break, you're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. A shotgun snap to Stafford. He'll get that complete to Isaiah Pacheco. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time. Play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. There you go, Boyd. There you go, Boyd. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Back to throw is Stafford. Right back to Boyd. He's got it again. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown Oops. over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every Ooh, defensive shit. coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. They'll come up here on second down and five. Throwing again is Stafford. To the outside, looked in by Lamb. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Go ahead and substitute. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that what? thing the other way for six. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll run it straight ahead with Pacheco. That's fine. And he will have a Packers first down. They're able to convert by plenty on that third and one. From the shotgun, it's Stafford. Okay. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. Out of the gun, Stafford. Ooh, bad move, bad He'll move. Swing bad one move. out wide to Pacheco. That's on me. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It was just, it was too fast of a read on my part. I, I went there immediately. Throw it on third down, Stafford. Oh. And that is. 
for the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on go, the board. board just yet. And he's gonna have That's a huge conversion. Down. As this defense a little too loose there, giving up 19 yards on fourth down. I just threw it out of the reach. Darn. Again, it's Stafford. A quick slant taken by Lamb. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Here's Pacheco. A dive, and he's in. Okay. Isaiah Pacheco. Okay. Touchdown. If we can figure it out defensively, we're going to run so many slants and floaters out to the running back. We need to probably throw more of those, like the button hooks and the outside breaks. stranger things happen. They got a two possession game here late. They're going to need a couple stops, and they're going to need a couple things to bounce their way. Problem is, is that. It takes me too long to get down the field. The explosive plays, I just don't think are there right now. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kicks away. Hardy now with the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. And this has been the start of the season you hope for. You held serve at home, have the lead here in the fourth quarter, and now it's all about bleeding down that clock. So they start this on the ground with Montgomery. God, that fucking penalty. That penalty is so bad. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. To throw, pick it. Open. No way! And the mark him down just shy of the 40. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air, Mike. You're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey. We're up by two scores. God, he's right quarter. there to get the stop before the first moving. down. You don't want to I can't believe now. some of these they catches. Convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock and without a stop. Oh, we got an injury timeout. Not get the ball back. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. He'll get himself looked at, but this is not how you want to begin a new campaign. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. They'll stay on the ground. Again, Montgomery. And some good yeah. blocking. Springing Just up. getting those second level blocks. As we get to third down. Here's Pickett. He's got his tight end. That's Hurst. Oh. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. That might end up being the backbreaker right now. This defense desperately needed to get off the field and give their offense a chance to cut into this two-score lead. But instead, they now got to defend a fresh set of downs. And as you look up at this clock, they might be running out of time. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. I just can't believe they he'll keep throwing the ball. At, but this is not how you want to begin a new campaign. The first run for Alexander Madison. And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. You've got to consider this an absolute must stop defensively. It's third down. Again, it's Madison. And quickly, the clock stops again. Defense taking the timeout. A buck 54 to go.
Cam Little for this field goal attempt. This a 42-yard attempt. Little's kick is good. And the Eagles are going to open up a two-touchdown lead. He, oh, to 10. I called the safe and block, and we all still want. almost you ran into the kicker. The advantage, but you want it wasn't me. It was a different player, but... Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. Here is first and two. Really excited for this screen to blow up in my face. They'll drop to throw. They're trying to set up the screen here with Pacheco. I could have gotten a little so bit more. That was a bad angle on my part. Execute their screen game, but I like in this case the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screen play still in the back of their head. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Mark him at the 48-yard line. Stafford now on first down. He'll be hit as he throws. What a disaster is play. He could not step into the throw that time. It'll bring up second down. They'll throw once more. Here's Stafford. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think like they know this offense has to be one dimensional. This has to be a pass. So they they extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. That is so frustrating. I just don't like the look of this passing game, Mike. It just seems a bit erratic. On top of the two straight incompletions, they've already turned the ball over through the air. Truthfully, with how dangerous some of these throws have been, they're lucky it hasn't been even more. And that's not going to work. The defense. I, I didn't mean to hit A. I didn't mean to throw it. Fourth quarter stand and forces a turnover. <sighs> They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Well, clearly a lot to work on. This passing game does not look good for me. I don't understand how... Like, this is a really good defensive team. Um, they have Jalen Ramsey. They have good running defense. We just... I just made too many mistakes. Defensively, I feel like I am just at an absolute loss. And there's defense. To the for what to do i i just i don't know i don't understand how like every defensive call feels wrong it, like it's absurd obviously the penalty on the kicker was huge that was a 10 point swing or a four point swing excuse me would have made it a 10 point game instead of a 14 point game But Philadelphia's offense very willing to throw the ball, and that was uh, that was a huge problem for me. We let Kenny Pickett just burn us over and over again. Couple bad picks. Um, the Ramsey pick, both interceptions looked like trash, looked like absolute trash. Jalen Ramsey with a diving interception, the fuck, and the the one against C.D. Lamb was so reminiscent of the fucking like. What is that? Where's the tackling? What is happening? Ugh. We were able to get to pick it every once in a while, but my team is just not good at tackling. The CD Lamb thing was awful. This play, they just, I think they just, they their offensive play call was better than my defensive play call, but I had no idea what to do. No idea. We let Kenny pick it. Throw for 300 yards. 22 of 27, 81% completion percentage. We threw for 152, and most of that was on the final drive where we scored a touchdown. Like, it was so bad. It was so bad. 
So we begin our season just like the real Green Bay Packers. We lose to the Eagles. We'll be facing the Colts next week. Uh, we allowed 24 points or fewer. We didn't take any sacks. We didn't get any offensive yards. We did have an offense, or an interception, excuse me. And that is not what you want to see as we, uh, we fall by 14. We have 40 messages somehow. It's the, the same messages. Stop telling me that I have new messages when I don't have new messages. God, it's a friggin' game. Trade offers. We have received a trade offer. No. Oh. Let's review. Trade offers. A center and a cornerback. That's a free safety. 2025 sixth round pick. I don't know that I'm super worried about either of those. I don't like that one, but. The Colts one's kind of interesting, but I don't know that I would need it. We'll see if the trade offer is still available. I'm going to go ahead and advance the week against the Colts. So we will go ahead and jump ahead. We'll be in Lambeau next week. Only the second time we played. This will be game number five. It's a couple of 0-1 teams. And we, uh, as we get ready to take on the Indianapolis Colts, we have Colts, and then we have the Tech Titans, and then we have the Vikings. I believe that one is in Minnesota. We have a new message. Uh, these two safeties are playmakers. We need to make a plan to get the ball out quick. Great. Great. Well, we can do that. That's fine. If we can if we can run the ball a little bit more consistently, that'll be nice. Um, what I would actually like to look at is... Where's our... Where would you find... Upgrades... Oh, God, this is injury report. We can check that. That's fine. No players. Perfect. Maybe that'll help. Uh, we have we did have that defender out last week. Um, let's see. Options now. Where is... How do I... Oh, God. Manage roster... Depth charts? How do you look at player upgrades? Auto reorder. Okay, select player maybe. Quorum? Or was it Spiller? Great. Not not helpful. God damn it. I think it was Spiller. I think Spiller is the guy that we want to look at. Where the... Oh, why do you bury this crap? Manage staff, franchise, but dang. Depth chart, manage team, weekly strategy, scout. Great. It's not going to be anywhere easy. If you know where to look at, like, how to upgrade players, because I was trying to figure out how close we were with the one guy to figuring out his thing... If that makes any sense, I know that it's not helpful. But it's like, if you play X number of snaps with him, he might have a secret ability. If you know where to find that, because why the fuck would it be... Oh, I hate the way this game's designed. It doesn't make any sense. Team salaries, resigned players, improved team, injury report, depth chart, free agents, trade center, NFL rosters. Whatever. Minnesota's the only team that won in the NFC North. The Giants, the only team to lose in the NFC East. Everybody else 50-50. And then we have... No, we don't care about the AFC here. But there you go. Eagles beat us 24-10. to 10. Uh, Really bad penalty, awful offense, and we'll see what we can do next week as the Colts and the Packers will take uh, the field. 12.30 p.m. Pacific time right here on YouTube.com slash Rex. Will I be playing? Will I be commentating? Who knows? Until then, thanks for watching. You subscribe over here for more content. Uh, baseball. Actually, the rest of the Packers franchise... Baseball at night, driver over there. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'm very agitated. Goodbye. Good sports. Go Pack Go!